Hello, welcome at Spa. This weekend we have a 24 hours of Spa. Two weeks ago we were still in the mall, had some time off. I took some time with the family, ate a lot of food, spent a lot of time on my bike. But here are we, we are again with Ima Manta racing. I'm driving with my friend Kevin Estre uh, and with Julian Andlauer, a French guy, uh, in the GT3R. Completely different car, completely different race, uh, but a very important one. It's going to be quite different. Not easy for Kevin and me because we're used to the MDH the whole year, but we know the car, but a lot of drivers here drive these cars and the tires the whole year. I'll give you a small tour in our box. Uh, it's quite different than Le Mans. You can see it's it's customer racing GT3. Although we still have like Ima Mantai, which is one of the best teams and uh, almost a factory team. It's, uh, it's a different level, but it's uh, interesting to see the differences. So uh, come check it out. Upstairs we have the uh, engineers who are working. I'll leave them in there. Back here we have uh, our driver room, which we have all our stuff, uh, stuff to get changed, my food. That's Julia. Hello. <laughs> Julia's French. Here's our little driver area where we have a couch and one bed. I need one more, but uh, or we cuddle, one of each. As you can see, it's a little bit smaller than the mall, but same concept, uh, spare parts, guys working uh, on, the, on the car. I, I haven't found any M&Ms yet, I need to. Mars is not good and free, so it's not my M&Ms. Here we have the car. Mechanics are doing a set down, so setting up the car for tomorrow. It's, uh, Manta is famous for the Grello, but it is I don't know, the green oak. They have two cars. The yellow one which you drive at the Nürnberg ring and then the, the green one. So that's a uh, little toolbox. Um, yeah, we just look. If you, can, if you can zoom in over there, it's old Bamber. He's a team owner and driving. Just trying to earn a lot of money. See, there he is. So. <laughs> So we're here at the parade, oh. uh, so it's quite cool. We drove the car uh, here, as you can see. A uh, lot of people, so it's quite, uh, quite a cool uh, thing to do. So uh, after we have the briefing, and then we'll probably hide it for a team to do. First practice done, uh, P3, it's not too bad, but uh, holy shit, <laughs> there's a bit of uh, adaptation coming from LMDH with you know, two GT3 and Pirelli tires, uh, both Kevin and me were like, okay, getting a bit different, car moves a lot more than LMDH car, so it takes a bit of getting used to, I need a couple more laps, going so well so far, but I know this from the past when I was doing GT3 the whole time and, and guys like Andre Lotto or Fessler came in, it's not easy to go from that car to a GT3 car, so uh, I guess I'm on that end of the spectrum now, but I hope our experience uh, can help and uh, we'll, be, we'll be there soon, but it wasn't too bad, but we still have some work to do. Debrief of the day. How is it to go from the LMDH back into the GT3? It moves and it's a little slow in the corner. 
it's not so easy so far, but we're getting used to it. But Kevin had a red flag, so I had one run of new tires, so I'm, I'm a bit ready for qualifying. Julia is the, the younger guy. Uh, Hello, bonjour. My name is Julien. I'm the, the little kid of these two. I'm trying to learn my best from them. And uh, right now it's quite difficult because I'm driving very quick under yellow and red flags. So trying my best not to do any infringement. And uh, voilà. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so next up is qualifying. We have uh, Q4, Q3, Q2, Q1. We obviously are only three, so we do Q3, Q2, Q1. And after qualifying in the top 20 uh, of that session, it's the average time or the combined time of the three of us. Uh, and then if we're in the top 20, we can do Super Bowl tomorrow, which uh, Julien will do. He doesn't know yet, but he will do it. Uh, so hopefully uh, it will be good. There's a lot of rain coming. We don't know if it will pass the track or hit us. It would be quite exciting. So uh, we'll see. Morning, bad hair day. Need to shave. It's Friday morning. Came back quite late at 1:30, I think, last night after qualifying and the night session, which got cancelled due to bad weather. It was a crazy session, but it was actually super fun, and uh, we qualified for Super Bowl as a best pro car. Even it was a bit strange because the first session was dry, so the M cars could do a good time, and all the pro cars didn't qualify. But uh, we got through. So today is Super Bowl. Julia will do the honors. I will do the evening warm up like that at 8 30 as i will also do the start of the race quite a relaxed day i want to do some some running but i'm a bit tired didn't sleep so well so i'm gonna take it take it easy today is the famous carb loading day so a lot of food over here in my hotel not as fancy luxury as Le Mans. i'm uh, getting breakfast now then relaxing a little bit and then uh so propose a tree so easy day i'll go to track around lunchtime not to hang there yeah should be a relaxed day for the madness starts tomorrow <laughs> Super Bowl is done. Uh, we finished 14th. <laughs> they looked like the car was very easy to drive, but in the end, you know, qualifying is not important in the 24-hour race. So uh, we have one more warm-up session. We won in 2019, starting from 14th. It's a good yeah? sign. Okay. Well, but uh, we have one more session tonight, uh, warm-up, which I will drive as the last preparation to get the race car dialed in, which is at 9:15 in the evening, and then uh, we go racing tomorrow. Support crew uh, has arrived. Warm up at 9 in the evening sucks. It's a long day. It's boring. Just for the drive. Probably the third lap I'm taking today. So so much eating, sleeping, driving a bit. Almost sleeping. Good morning, Emily. Good morning. Did Papa win? Yeah. Yeah? Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So here we are, two o'clock, two and a half hours to go before the start. I'll be taking the start. So far, it's still raining, which is good because I uh, I felt good in the car in the rain, and uh, I like driving the rain here. We'll start uh, 14th. Spa is always a bit of a special race. There's a lot of safety cars. It makes no sense to go all out in the beginning to try and make a gap because more likely that will be diminished. Trying to stay in the top 10 in the leading group is the target and then uh, fight for it at the end of the race. We'll see, quite curious. Like I said, I, felt, I feel really confident in the wet. The dry bit less, I'm still struggling a little bit with, I don't know, setup or, or drivability of the car. It's quite oversteery, call them detail, and it's not easy to, to handle from in the cockpit. Often you can you know, change your driving style a bit and adapt to the situation. Uh, so far it seems a bit more difficult. It will be uh, an exciting race. There's always a lot happening here, trying to stay out of trouble. Just watched the last bit of data from yesterday evening. Had uh, my pancakes for lunch. Now I'm gonna go for a small nap, although I doubt I'll sleep, but just close my eyes a bit and, and relax.
green. We're racing at Spa. A real test for this leading group of cars. They've not been through the sequence of corners in these conditions. That's the Manti EMA Porsche, which is started by Lawrence Van Thor. Home hero is one of the three drivers pitching for a win. It's always great to come back here for Kevin and me. We have to adapt a bit. Coming from LMDH the whole season as quite a step uh, back to, to this. But besides that, I think we have a very good chance. Ima Manta is always there. It's a very professional team. Uh, we have a good lineup. Uh, I think Porsche looks to be competitive. So everything's there to, to have success. First and done, uh, <laughs> really quite exhausted, um, was quite good, we came back to uh, third place, uh, the match overtake a lot of cars, it was definitely not easy, uh, it's quite tough over there to overtake, so I spent a lot of time behind others, but the car was good, uh, I tried, I made a little mistake when I touched somebody, but um, luckily enough there was not much damage and we could change it here the pit stop. Now we're in the front group and that's where we need to stay for the next 20 hours. So, uh, but uh, I was already quite tough and exhausted. It's been done. Not so easy. Uh, not really happy. It's uh, quite cool conditions, and it's very easy to collect pickup on the tires. And uh, I'm struggling with that. Once you get the pickup on the tire, you lose a lot of grip, and it's difficult to get rid of it. And uh, somehow I'm struggling to to keep the tire in the window. And uh, that I mean, it's not bad, but this second set was good. The last set was quite quite tough. So. Uh, very easy, but uh, Kevin is uh, always driving a bit more aggressive than me, so he's uh, he's more in the groove, he's quick, and uh, hopefully he can catch the place. Do I look grumpy? I'm trying to eat as much as I can without feeling bad. I think so far I burned five and a half thousand calories since yesterday morning. So I'm trying to eat as much as I can. It's still okay, but now I was really hungry. But it was three hours in the car. By this point, it's not fun to eat anymore. It's just shoving it in. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, definitely look as fucked as I feel. Just the last two and a half hours. Well, of course, yeah, also come back after another track for the top. And uh, came back to fourth place from sixth. Drove two and a half hours, pushed like everything I had. It went decent, but we're, I mean, we don't have the winning pace as uh, BMW, so I'm now currently fighting the Audi for a podium. And that's probably all we got. So. But uh, Spa is like physically, physically, the car is physically to drive because it's difficult. So uh, I'm not sure to toast. I'm gonna try and get changed. And then uh, buy some french fries. Stuff like 20 minutes. So, 24 hours of spa, 2023 is over, uh, we finished fourth. Uh, Kevin put on a great fight in the end to try and get on the podium, but unfortunately we just came short. It was a tough race, it was uh, difficult to drive. I think we did the best and we did the maximum we could. Unfortunately it's fourth position, which is a pretty shitty position. <laughs> it's like the best of the rest on the podium, but uh, not so uh, successful year so far, not so many trophies. Yeah, I mean, we did the best we could, we were the best Porsche. That was all which we, we had, so uh, yeah, no glory. 24 hours of spa summary, tired. No one since I was that, that tired, but um, yeah, we finished fourth. Obviously not the result we were hoping for. Our goal was obviously to win that race. Things were looking good for, for a long time, but I think in the end, BMW uh, showed a stronger pace than, than the rest of the field and than us. So I think it would be hard to have competed with them. I do think we would have been able to finish uh, second if we could have avoided that last penalty, which uh, set us back a bit in track position. And then, uh, you know, we had to fight our way up front. So we could have maybe done that a bit different, diff better. Tired. Nevertheless, I mean, we did the best we could. It wasn't an easy race, tough conditions on the tires uh, at night. We saw us struggling a lot in the colder temperature with pickup. The car wasn't so easy to drive. Sometimes it was good. We had our hands full, um, but I mean, in terms of the team, every day, everything, <sighs> well, we should go to sleep. <laughs> Everybody did a great job. So um, yeah, now it's time to move on. Six hours of Monza coming up next weekend. So no time to rest. Uh, leaving tomorrow already. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. Uh, let us know what you uh, want to see more or less. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and all the, all the stuff you say at the end of the vlog.